Hey guys, welcome to the HVAC Diaries. Today is Saturday, February 25th, and this is my weekly HVAC vlog. Oh my goodness, you guys, it is so cold right now. We're expecting a winter storm to come in. We're expecting like 30 centimeters of snow overnight, which is going to send the city into uh, like frenzy. It's going to be crazy. So... Monday morning for work might be a little bit sketchy, but we'll see. I hope you guys had a really good week. I did. It was a short one. I think most of us, well, in North America anyway, had Monday off. So that was really nice. Um, yeah, we had a few interesting jobs this week. another one of those water source heat pump units, a climate master. Uh, last week's one was a 12k and this week's one was a 36k um, and it went really smoothly obviously because we had that awesome genie lift but also because we prepared the unit last week when we had the time we had it uh, lowered down and ready to go. So we basically just had to lift up the new unit, connect everything, commission it, and then we were done. Also had another blower motor replacement inside of a Lennox unit. Pretty much the exact same as last week's as well. And miraculously, I don't know, I, I'm gonna jinx myself by saying this, but these motors are just sliding right out. Like I don't have to, I don't have to sand them, I don't have to lube them, I don't have to fight with them at all. Like literally, I just loosen the grub screw. Uh, the set screw and then the thing just lifts out like ah oh. pretty sure I said the exact same thing last week in last week's vlog but anyway had another one of those and I love it we did have an interesting call this week so it was a service call to a server room a Samsung ductless split heat pump system that serves the server room. So we did have some really cold temperatures this week. And when we got there, the server room was sitting at 84 degrees and the set point is 67. So we took a look on the roof. 
well, we took a look at the whole system actually, and nothing seemed out of the ordinary. The fan, the outdoor fan was spinning super slowly, and the compressor was doing no work, like zero amps. Well, that's not true. It was sitting around like three or four amps, where um, RLA is 15.2. So that day was super windy and super cold. Like, re like the, the wind was brutal. And uh, so what we found was that there was just too much wind flying over that condenser coil and it was, it's just too much. It was rejecting too much heat. It was lost its efficiency completely. So we did some testing with some cardboard. We've, we covered the front of the unit and the back of the unit. And it seemed like when we covered the rear, the unit functioned much better. So we made up this little like temporary um, like wind baffle with a piece of cardboard. We cut some slits in it. And then we went back the next day with a proper baffle from Samsung. And you guys, that thing, is a piece of flat sheet metal with two sides. It's like, well, you'll, you saw it. That thing costs $352. But when I called the supplier, it turns out that that Samsung system actually comes with a front and a rear baffle. It comes with both. Some systems only come with the front baffle. So <laughs> um, on Instagram, I got a lot of people saying, oh, you've put it on the wrong side. Well, no, the Samsung ones actually come with a front and a back. And unfortunately, the front baffle is back ordered right now. It's unavailable. But luckily for us, it was the rear baffle that we needed anyway. So it solved our problem. Um, and I'm actually really shocked at how effective it is. Amazing. And then finally, so last week I spoke about the cracked heat exchanger that we found on that carrier rooftop unit. Well, we got the approval to replace that unit. And the reason we're replacing the unit and not just the heat exchanger is because that unit is, I don't know, more than 20 years old and it's R22 refrigerant. So. we recommended that they replace it and they approved that replacement. So um, we have crane day coming up next week, although I'm really concerned about the weather. So because of that, we had some time this week to go and prepare the unit that we're taking off. And all we really did was recover all the refrigerant out of that system. so that when we go back next week, we just have to disconnect the controls and the gas and the electrical, and then we can lift it off really quickly and get the new one on. So hopefully we can get it done regardless of the weather, but it's really up to the crane whether it'll go in the snow or not. So I'm getting really excited for two upcoming events. One of them is on Wednesday, March 1st. It is Jobber Summit. It's a free online business leadership type conference that runs twice on March 1st, just in two sessions, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Um, I am one of the panelist speakers, so I'm really excited for that event. And then the second event that I'm excited about is on International Women's Day on March 8th. It's the Women in HVAC Art Canada's first in-person event out in Vaughan, Ontario. And unfortunately, I won't be there in person, but I will be there virtually. And it's gonna be just a really great event with some inspirational speakers. Um, we've got a panel with Brandy Ference moderating it, which I'm just such a fan of hers. Um, and then the whole evening will end with dinner and dancing. So if you happen to be in the Vaughan area on March 8th, the event starts at, I think registration starts at noon and then the event kicks off at 1 p.m. And it goes until late. I think we have the room until midnight. So there's gonna be dinner and dancing. So yeah, go check it out. If you're in that area, go to www.womeninhvac.ca and purchase your tickets there. Or 
If you want to sponsor the event or get involved in some way, please also reach out either to me directly or go to the website. Everything is there. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of the HVAC Diaries HVAC Vlog. Did you guys notice my new uh, gauges in the back? See, they don't look as like awesome as the analog ones. I still have them. They're just behind me on this seat. and got my digital ones there. But uh, I like the face of the analog ones. I think they look more HVAC-y, but whatever. <laughs>